Aida from Giuseppe Verdi. The synopsis is presented by Opera Inside, the online opera guide. The roles. Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Amneris, daughter of the pharaoh. Radamis, Egyptian commander. Amonasro, king of Ethiopia. Aida, daughter of Amonasro and slave at the Egyptian court. In the palace of the pharaohs. Ramphis sees his empire in danger. In the presence of his daughter Amneris, the pharaoh warns the council of priests of an imminent invasion of the Ethiopians. Radamis, a young commander hopes to be appointed commander-in-chief. He secretly loves Aida, an Ethiopian slave of the royal palace. Amneris is accompanied by her slave Aida and visits Radamis, whom she secretly loves. Amneris notices that Aida has feelings for Adamis. A messenger reports the invasion of the Ethiopians. They want to conquer Egypt and free Aida. Ramphis questions the goddess Isis and appoints Radamis as commander-in-chief of the Egyptian troops. Aida is deeply worried. She is the daughter of the Ethiopian king Amonasro. She is torn between her love for Adamis and the loyalty to her fatherland. In a solemn ceremony Radamis is elected commander-in-chief. The Egyptian troops were able to defeat the invaders. Amneris wistfully awaits the return of Radamis. To learn more about Aida's relationship to him, she claims he was killed in battle. From Aida's reaction she recognizes that she has feelings for Adamis. When she explains that he is still alive, Aida's excitement dispels Amneris' last doubts. Cries of cheer announce the arrival of the victorious troops. With a magnificent victory celebration, the Egyptians welcome the soldiers with their commander Adamis. The Ethiopian prisoners are being paraded. Amonasro is among the prisoners. He is disguised as an officer. As their spokesman, he begs for mercy. When Naida recognizes him, he orders her to remain silent. The priests demand the death of the war prisoners. Radamis wants to generously grant freedom to the attackers. Ramphis hesitantly accepts his proposal, but determines that the leader of the Ethiopians and Aida must remain in Egypt as hostages. The pharaoh promises Radamis as a reward the marriage with his daughter Amneris. The wedding is to take place soon. On the nocturnal banks of the Nile. Amneris has retired there to pray on the eve of their wedding. There Aida secretly waits for Adamis, who has ordered her there. Amonasro appears surprisingly and wants Aida to sound Radamis out, where Ethiopian troops can invade via an unguarded border crossing. Amonasro hides when Radamis shows up. Aida and Radamis recognize the hopelessness of their love. Ramphis would never approve of their marriage. Radamis proposes to flee to Ethiopia with her, over the unguarded gorge of Napata. Amonasro steps forward. He has now found out the unguarded path, and Radamis realizes that he has unintentionally betrayed his fatherland. Alarmed by the noise, Amneris appears together with soldiers. Aida and Amonasro flee, but Radamis surrenders without resistance. Outside the priest's courtroom. Amneris invokes Radamis to reaffirm his innocence to save his life. But for Adamis, life has lost its meaning. He is sentenced to death by immurement for treason. In the walls of the pyramids. Arriving in the walls of the pyramids, he recognizes Aida, who snuck into the dungeon to die with him. Together they say goodbye to the world, 